Hi friends, it's me Perhi here. I'm using September Hip It Club kits and I'm showing you how to include several cut files to your one layout. Um, and actually I'm using one cut file with two different papers and it's this lovely horse cut file. Um, but I wanted to add two colors. Um, the way that the horse is darker blue and the uh, other parts are slightly lighter. Uh, I'm just packing that flower part of the cut file and uh, thinking about how to set the elements on the page. And I also um, cut some feathers. Uh, some are similar as on this cut file, but I also used another cut file from July cut files from Hippie Club um, and cut them with different papers. They are all um, cardstock. Um, no patterned paper here, only, only this kind of light yellow and light blue and some darker blue. Now that I'm not going to use any patterned papers, I decided to add some uh, embellishments, of course, but also uh, balance that <laughs> there isn't any patterns by drawing some extra lines and uh, extra details to the horse and to the dark blue feathers. Um, I think that's enough for this layout. I don't want to add too much of uh, elements and different colors and everything because I want to um, draw attention to the theme of having a darling horse <laughs> um, for my girl. Uh, I added first that this is totally amazing sticker uh, partly on top of the photo, but I decided later that I will uh, change the place um, and give more room for the photograph. But as you can see, I really loosely uh, draw the lines of the horse and um, give some more uh, lively look for the horse. Um, and I also make the similar uh, effects for the feathers and I think this gives much more dimension for the page. Um, and as always I want to add some uh, art, archy look for my page and that's why I'm using the color kit, um, August color kit, I think it's August, anyway. Um, there were blue, yellow and red Lindy's uh, mists and they are so fabulous and I really love them because uh, when I add slightly more water to the colors I can get light uh, blue and light yellow and I can mix uh, some green and anyway those are really basic colors and you can make all kind of colors if you just keep on playing and adding, adding water more and less. Anyway, uh, I want to add um, mostly blue and yellow as there are the papers uh, mostly blue and yellow but also some pink and um, as there is quite much green on the photograph. I also want to add some green um, to my background. That's why I love the white cardstock as a background because you can always continue the colors um, from the photograph or from the papers to the background by just adding some drops of something uh, either watercolors or mists or anything. And for last I add some some more uh, thread behind some of the elements on the page to soften up the page a bit. That's all. Thanks for watching.